morning and welcome back. If you're just joining us, here are the eight things you need to know today. The bankrupt Great Northern Mill in East Millinocket will be auctioned off today. A company called GMP Acquisition is offering to buy the mill's equipment and buildings for $2.6 million. The company filed for bankruptcy last September, saying it owed between $50 and $100 million. A Scarborough construction company won its legal dispute with the Lisbon School District. A judge now ruling the district will have to award Landry French Construction the contract for a multi million dollar gym renovation project. The city of Auburn is moving forward with the construction of a downtown transportation center. Last night, city councilors voting on the location at the Great Falls Plaza and approved $150,000 in funding. They did set a tentative completion date for November of 2015. And the University of Southern Maine plans to lay off 14 more staff members as it continues to grapple with ongoing financial problems. Now this is on top of the 26 layoffs it announced in October. The latest layoffs are part of a plan to close a $16 million budget gap. Continuing now the eight things you need to know for this Tuesday. President Obama says he wants police officers to wear body cameras to record events like the shooting of 18-year-old Michael Brown in Ferguson. He's asking Congress to approve $263 million for police training and the resources as well. Meanwhile, the Department of Justice is working to end racial profiling by police. Attorney General Eric Holder will announce the new standards and safeguards in the coming days. Also, President Obama's executive actions on immigration appear likely to face an unfriendly reception at a hearing today. Homeland Security Secretary Jay Johnson will testify before the House Homeland Security Committee that the president's plan is, quote, simple common sense. House GOP members are meeting this morning to discuss other options. And yet another recall for General Motors. The latest involves problems with low beam headlights that can cut out, increasing the risk of a crash. Thousands of SUVs and Buick LaCrosse sedans from model years 2006 to 2009 are being recalled. High beam lamps, turn signals, air fo or fog lights, I should say, are not affected. And finally this morning, some much needed rain is on the way for parts of drought stricken California, but that rain also brings a double threat. Residents are concerned about flooding, mudslides, and debris following, actually flowing right now from areas recently burned by wildfires. There have been voluntary evacuations ahead of that storm.